JJ Jinx! Truck Stop Knives! JJ Jinx! Truck Stop Knives! I got a fun video for you today. So, a while back, before I moved, I did some filming at uh, my work. And I took some knives with me because I wanted to have a real close look at the edge of the blades. Um, so I got a whole spread of knives that we're going to use a high-powered stereo microscope by Leica. Um, if I can find a picture of it online, I'll put it up here. Anyway, this thing can magnify using a stereo scope system up to uh, 16 times that of <coughs> the objective, which I believe is, um, I don't know, a 5 or a 10x or something like that. So basically you can look at um, hundreds, one to, one to 200 times uh, magnification. And what I was looking for was how well grounded the blades were. So I brought some pretty good knives and I brought some pretty shit knives so we can see the difference. So we're going to start off by looking at this case knife. This is a case blue bone rust lock. And the case is a pretty good company. They make high quality knives. They have good quality steel. And so we're going to have a quick look at that edge. All right, I'm going to start by focusing in on the uh, logo there. Focus. So I'm gonna, as I zoom in and out, the lighting will have to be adjusted and as well as the focus, but I'm going to get really, really close. And here you can see the plastic kind of molded around the, the metal here. There's a little chip on the right. You can see a lot of detail when you really bear down on it. Metal's got some scratches, not really visible on the macroscopic scale. So, yeah, that's your uh, case logo, up close and personal. Uh, here's one of the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, looking at the blade edge, what we're going to be looking for in a, in a good knife, it'll have actually two grinds, kind of like with a razor blade. You have the, the initial grind at one angle, and you can see that shiny part, and then right at the edge, you can just kind of make out there's a kind of a different color. That's that's steel that's cut at a slightly different angle. But looking at looking at it um, up this close, you can see that it's pretty jagged. And this is a case knife. Now every knife is going to look jagged when you zoom in far enough. But uh, this is a good basis for comparison, I think. And there's the tip. So, yeah, you can see the, the tool marks from when it was ground. Pretty neat stuff. And there's the uh, maker's mark. All right. Here's a knife that uh, maybe some of you are familiar with. It is the Beetlejuice knife, or more popularly known as the Frost Cutlery Eagle Eye. Is this the three or the four? I don't remember. And it's got a partially serrated blade. Um, this is a shit, a shit knife for sure. And uh, let's see what this one looks like under the microscope. Well, here we are at the logo. And now the plastic, you can see it's kind of sparkly purple plastic. Injection molded, I'm assuming. There's a rivet back there. And uh, you got this uh, eagle stamped into the blade. Let's have a closer look. Go to the eagle eye on the eagle eye knife. <laughs> You can see the depression that the stamp cut into the steel. I'm assuming it's a stamp. I actually don't know. So here's the serrated part of the blade. And then here's the blade part of the blade. Now if we go into here, it actually looks pretty smooth, but it's only got a single grind. and. 
it's at a very steep angle, so I'm focusing down on it, and it's, um, unlike the previous knife, you can't really see the blade's edge on one plane because it's cut at such a sh sharper angle, which is, um, not as good. A lot of pitting, a lot of tool marks. Doesn't look so smooth now, does it? <laughs> Yeah, even this part of the blade. Look at that. That's that's uh, that's all scratched up there. Probably from tumbling in uh, with uh, those ceramic things to smooth it out, maybe, or just a once over with a belt sander. Here's one that should be pretty good. It's a Victorinox. This is the Bantam. It's one of the smallest ones. It's only got two things in the slip joint. Um, the blade, the classic. Victorinox blade and it's got a uh, bottle opener can opener thing and a wire cutter whatever other crazy things they say like oh this has like 18 functions and you're like it's just this little dinky thing let's see what their blade quality looks like so the scales are plastic with metal embedded kind of like with the case knife so here's their red cross shield logo uh, I can tell right now that's brushed steel. And here we can see where the plastic interfaces with the metal of the logo. And it looks like there's some pitting there. This thing's pretty old. It's probably just the way it was manufactured. It's not like a defect or anything. Okay, and here we are at the blade. Looking very smooth so far. Let's have a closer look. Gotta adjust the lighting a little. Focus. Yes, that, that is a very nicely ground edge there. Well, this isn't the edge, but I'm just getting focused. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially compared to the eagle eye. That is beautiful. You can see the two grinds. It's purple color just because uh, it's an optical phenomenon with the microscope. That is very nice. Now, I can't really um, ignore this masterpiece. This is the Z Hunter, made famous by Nick Shabazz, and it's a real shit knife, but uh, beautiful aesthetically. Let's see what this looks like under the microscope. Well, here we are focused down on the skull with its teeth. And uh, it's just uh, injected molded plastic, but it's pretty cool looking. This close up, there's a little piece of debris in the nostril there. You see a lot of junk uh, knives that have uh, been pocketed a lot or dropped on the ground. And I don't know, this one's just been sitting in my boxes, but I picked up something. In these little crevices. So let's see. Oh, it's got the biohazard symbol and a blood splat. That's a pretty neat logo. I like that. Uh, we got serrations and then the edge. And It's hard to tell. It almost kind of does look like it might have that secondary grind, but it also just could be a really rough edge. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to think it's the ladder. And you can see how uneven the edge of that blade is. So the tool quality, I don't know, the, the grit level of the belt sander, or whatever they use to grind this thing, it left pretty big gouges and a pretty rough edge and there's a blue thread there more debris more pitting more marks and this is not a knife that I've used to cut anything I just have it for the novelty so this is a, a fresh blade 
and it's pretty bad, which is not unexpected. Just kind of continuing all the way up the blade, trying to maintain the focus. The shape of the knife made it hard to slide around because it's uh, kind of rounded, so i got to constantly change the focus here. And then all the way to the tip. Yep. Watch out, zombies. Now, I didn't look at this one under the microscope, but I did want to bring it up because it's kind of a weird knife, and I don't think I've ever shown it before. I don't remember. So I found it after the move, and the story is I, I sent a message to Nick Shabazz about this knife. I had never seen a knife like this before. Uh, I've seen very similar ones on his channel that he's reviewed, but this one's just different. So he sent me an email back saying, I'm kind of scared by what you describe, but go ahead and send it. So for some reason, I wrapped it up in subway napkins, and I never sent it. I put it in a drawer, and I was like, oh, I'll just drop that in the mail. So it didn't happen. I don't remember why I wrapped it in subway napkins. But maybe I'll send it over to him still. Of course, I'm going to ruin the surprise with this video, but I'm way too small time for him to ever see any of these. So you'll see it here first, and then maybe if I do get around to sending this over to him, we'll get his reaction. So this is a knife that I bought at a truck stop when I was driving, I think I was somewhere around Oklahoma, and it was a really dry run. There, there were just very few gas stations with knives on the route that I was taking. Um, and I was like, I have to buy at least one knife on, I, I always try to get at least one on these road trips. So I found this one, and it, it's just kind of cheesy. It's got this plastic grill, um, pretty bad sheath, uh, sheath. Um, this thing, <laughs> belt clip, Pe belt clip, what is wrong with me, pocket clip, anyway, um, so I tossed it onto my seat next to me, and <clears throat> I'm driving along, and I'm like, man, I'm just feeling really disappointed, because I just got this one knife, so I get on the highway, I get up to speed, pick it up, and I open it, and this is what I see, now, <laughs> It, it looks like some kind of a cartoon bird, like a Skeksis or something. Uh, so I immediately laughed my ass off, put it back on my car seat, and uh, I didn't feel disappointed anymore. So what we're looking at, and I, I think this, this design where you got these like nodules, um, I've seen it on like bread knives, I think. And it is sharp. It's a single grind, but... It's just bizarre, and so, like I said, I've, I've seen a knife exactly like this one with the same black grill, same color, same everything, different blade uh, on Nick Shabazz's channel. So, <laughs> this this hooked monstrosity maybe could get a chuckle out of him, I don't know. I certainly enjoyed it. And I'm also going to look at the um, Kershaw Cryo under the microscope, but I forgot to bring it down with me into the basement, but everybody knows what those look like, so no big deal. Maybe I'll flash a picture up. Okay. So this is a knife that I've been carrying for probably a year, maybe more. Now, Kershaw's a pretty good brand. They make inexpensive but decent quality stuff. I only paid 20 to 25 dollars for this thing, it was uh, on sale, and because it's been in my pocket so much, it is going to be filthy. <laughs> We're going to see all kinds of dust and whatever else is on there, but this is the uh, stonewashed black finish on the scales. And, uh, Looking at the blade, oh, I can already see the secondary grind right there. Oh yeah, look at all that shit. <laughs> there it is, that, that secondary grind is very thin, but that is um, that is a good blade. You can see the, the tool marks are minimal, the evenness of the edge, it's not jagged, it won't tear, it'll 
properly cut. And it's a pretty wide secondary cut too. Uh, it's looking a little rough in some places. That's a good spot. Adjusting the lighting, trying to show off that secondary cut in the blade there. More shit. <laughs> Yeah, so it's rough in some places, but not in others. And that could just be from me sharpening it over time. I, I use a Lanksky sharpener, so it might be an, an uneven uh, angle that I'm holding it at. That's that's okay, though. Oh, my God. i got to clean this thing. <laughs> just throw it in the dishwasher or put it in a furnace and cook it or something. And there's the tip. What a mess. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. This has been JJ Jinx Trucks.